Hi guys, this is Mike Fox from Lieutenant Freya Comics. I'm a comic artist and illustrator, and I love artists. I love the work they make that inspires me. I love the way we all struggle the same. I love the way we all want to be more than the sum of our parts. When you talk to another artist, a sincere artist, you automatically have a common language that transcends tastes, styles, loves, and hates. If nothing else, you understand them because that's where you're coming from, too. I used to be a musician. In fact, this channel used to be all my music. But in the last year, a lot has happened to and for me. And so I thought it deserved a new start, this channel, just like me. When I was a musician, I saw two types of people. People that wanted to be rock stars and people that wanted to be musicians. These people didn't often get along either. See, the rock stars wanted the validation of the performance, the admiration, the stories, and eventually they thought this would all lead to wealth, comfort, and all of their dreams coming true. And what were their dreams? To be loved, I guess by everyone, and have luxury and carefree days. Mostly, they ended up just doing a lot of drugs. It gives you that carefree feeling faster, frankly. I mean, people do drugs because they work. But dressing up like a rock star, doing the drugs like a rock star, and getting paid like a rock star doesn't make you a rock star. At least not the type we think of when we think of popular musicians. Now, those people, they're not rock stars at heart. They're artists. An, mar an artist may also... Oof. An artist may also want the fame, the money, the comfort, and the luxury. I mean, who wouldn't? But that's not what motivates them. That's not what they think when they sit down to write, work, or draw. No one says, Okay, today I'm going to work on the project so I can be famous and rich. And no one feels, each day, they get a little bit closer to that fame or wealth. At least, no one that's an artist. We can't really think like that. What we're thinking is about the work. What it says. What we say what we want the work to say. We think about all that artsy stuff, medium, and message. And then we sit down and struggle with the craft. We fight with the physical act of creation. And it becomes a battle between our minds and our bodies. What we think... You know, our hands trying to translate the message that we've been thinking up in our head. So, what are our dreams? To be loved, I guess, by ourselves, most often. Loved enough to think our voice matters, that our work says something that matters, or says something small, as long as it says the right thing. So, in my first video, I wanted to plant that seed in your head, that question of, do you want to be famous or an artist? Which of those passions do you want to nurture and feed? Which motivates you and which do you want to give the most reward? Now, and no, I'm not done yet. I, uh, I loathe vague inspirational things, so I can promise you I'll be specific uh, as I do these videos. My point in this video is not to make you feel guilty about wanting success, finding it, or enjoying it. You should want that, and it's natural to enjoy it. But remembering that your art has a voice, and finding that voice, even within paid work, your gigs, a commission, that's going to keep you motivated as an artist. Uh, for me, the secret is I'm a storyteller. That's what my passion has always been. 
in one way or another, I like to tell a story. So when I get a fairly mundane portrait to draw, and the money's good, but I find I'm not really clicking with the subject, well, what do I do? I could put it off, or I could draw it as fast as possible just to get it off my desk. But both of these solutions are really an insult to the customer and to myself. So I look for ways to satisfy my voice as an artist with the work in front of me. Now, since I'm a storyteller, it's easy, actually. I just develop a headcanon about the scene, and in that process, I'll generally find small details to add context and flavor, and in the end, personal satisfaction. I get a, uh, a lot of good feedback when I do this, too, uh, so it's, I've found that that works for me. Um, folks will tell you to become a professional, you have to think of yourself as professional. And that's absolutely true. But too often, folks think this means taking the art out of art. That if you really want to make it, you're just a drone doing your job, and you got to be professional and get it done. Yeah, hit your deadlines if you can. Yeah, treat others well. Yeah, always do your best work. But no, being a professional does not mean taking your voice out of your art. It means finding a way to insert it, because that will keep you looking forward to your next job, and that'll keep you motivated. And depending on what your voice is, and what turns you on as an artist, you might have to work it a little before you find a way to express yourself within the work. But there always is a way. And your customers, your readers, your fans, whether they exist now or not, will always notice the difference. So my point is, while you're seeking success, remember your voice as an artist is always going to help you get there. Anyway, this is Mike Fox with Lieutenant Freya Comics, and please like and subscribe if you want to hear me talk honestly about my art or motivation.